Jennifer and welcome to The Daily Connoisseur. Today I'd like to talk to you about the importance of eating well and I have my number one eating tip for you today. In fact, in my book At Home with Madame Chic, which has hundreds of tips on how to live well, I say in the book that if you only follow one of them, if you only take one of them very seriously, this is the tip that I want you to consider. And this has to do with how you eat, particularly at lunchtime. So my tip to you is that when it's time for lunch, no matter where you are, whether it's at your desk in your office, whether it's by yourself in the cafeteria at work or at school, whether you are at home by yourself or at home with your baby or your children, or whether you're at a restaurant or a cafe by yourself, I would love for you to sit down with your lunch and to simply focus on eating your lunch. And I would like to ban all cell phones at lunchtime, okay? Because I know that particularly when you're by yourself, it is quite easy to just, you know, pick up your phone, there's nobody to talk to. So you pick up your phone and then you start checking the news or whatever while you're eating, okay? So the phone becomes your lunch companion. No, I say get rid of it. Turn it off, turn it around. If you're at your desk, shut your computer down, face the screen in, in a different way, and just focus on your lunch. If at all possible, lay a nice place setting for yourself. If you're at home, have a nice placemat or a tablecloth. It doesn't have to be perfect. You'll probably notice that my tablecloth is really wrinkled. <laughs> I haven't ironed it. It doesn't matter. Just do your best. Lay a nice setting for yourself. Sit down and don't listen to anything except for soothing music. That's my only suggestion for you. If you'd like to listen to classical music or another form of music that soothes you, you can listen to that. But don't listen to talk radio. Don't have a YouTube video playing on in the background, even if it's mine. I would like you to just focus on your lunch, even if it's only for five minutes, even if you're having a quick lunch, even if you're not having anything fancy, you could be having a tuna sandwich that you brought from home. I'm sorry, Gatsby is eating his lunch right now in the kitchen. He's taking my um, advice a little bit too far and I hope you can hear me over, <laughs> over him eating. Yes, so focus on your food. Now, why do I suggest this? And why do I suggest it so strongly at lunchtime? Well, breakfast, we're normally either eating with other people or we are in a major hurry to get out the door, okay? So sometimes we take things to go, even though I don't advocate that, but I know that that does happen to some people. Dinner time, we're normally eating with other people. We're eating with our family, and I hope that in your family you have a no devices policy at your dinner table. So no cell phones, no iPads, no anything, that you just connect to each other. But lunchtime is really where most of us let it slip. Oftentimes we're alone at lunchtime, and it's just so easy to, you know, just sit there with your phone or go on your computer and just kick back and kind of eat lunch while you do this. The trouble is that throughout our hectic, stressful, busy, chaotic day, if we continue in that, if we continue in rapidly checking status updates or the news or whatever it is that we're looking at on our phone, we are not allowing ourselves to relax. We are not recharging our battery. And we're not even paying attention to the food that we're eating. As soon as you know it, you're finished with lunch, but you probably ingested all of the stress or the words that you've been looking at at the screen. So it's so important to just put everything on pause for as long as you can at lunchtime and just simply focus on your food. You will notice the absolutely strong resistance that you have to this. And I notice this because I have it myself. I'm usually always alone at lunchtime. The kids are at school, my husband's at work, and I have just been writing or taking care of the home. And I could do whatever I want. Nobody's looking, nobody's here. <laughs> I could literally eat sitting on the kitchen counter if I wanted to. So many times I have sat in front of my computer thinking, oh, I'll eat mindfully tomorrow. Not today, today I wanna watch this YouTube video or I wanna see what's going on in the news or on Twitter. Every time I do that, I regret it every single time. Yet the times when I employ self-discipline and I push through the resistance and I sit down with good posture, 
at a table, even you know, if just this part of the table is well presented, I sit down and I have my lunch and I usually listen to classical music because it just really helps me. I feel so much better afterward. And after that's over, yes, you can jump right back into the fray. You can go in with the hectic pace of your day, but just take that time to enjoy yourself. And that is truly my number one eating tip. When you do this at lunch, you're going to want to do this for every single meal that you have. And the reason I say that, again, is because at lunchtime, you're usually alone. And how you live when you're alone just speaks volumes about how you live when other people are with you, when other people are watching you. It's your authentic self. So I truly hope that you try my tip. I would like to challenge you to try this every single day this entire week. Okay, don't give up on it. And I would love for you to leave comments and let me know how it's going for you. What changes do you see in yourself? How is it affecting you positively for the rest of the day? Okay, good luck, and thank you for joining me on The Daily Connoisseur. I'll see you soon.